We've all been there before. Our stomachs begin to growl at the most inopportune times. Very embarrassing indeed. The noises can be loud, unpleasant and often annoying, but they hardly call for a trip to the doctors. Many things can cause rumbling. We automatically assume it's our stomachs because everyone knows the stomach is located in the upper part of the abdomen. But we mustn't forget that a chunk of the large intestine is also in this area. In fact, the abdomen houses six meters worth of constantly active digestive tract. Considering it never stops to take a break, it's no wonder that it feels the need to be heard every now and then. But where do the noises come from? We can get a general idea by looking at this gastroscopy. The stomach is a digestive organ, a muscle if you will. It's hollow and full of liquid. You can see the liquid here and how the stomach is in constant motion. Here are the contents of the stomach which we're pumping. That is the gastric juice which is normally acidic with a pH value of 1 due to the introduction of stomach acid being pumped here. Supposing air gets caught in our stomachs as the result of swallowing incorrectly while eating or speaking, it can mix into the gastric juice or the stomach acid specifically. The stomach might then contract causing it to rumble or gurgle or cramp up. The longer we go without eating, the more liquid the gastric juice tends to be. The introduction of air into this juice creates bubbles and those familiar rumbling sounds. Right after eating, however, the contents of our stomachs resemble a thick porridge. In this state, an isolated bubble may arise. But what, if anything, can we do to deter the rumbling? If you're prone to lots of rumbling, you should get a checkup. If your doctor says you have no serious disorder of the major organs, there are a few things you can do. Try not to gulp air when speaking or eating. In fact, it's advisable not to eat and speak at the same time. You should never talk with your mouth full, as small children were told that it's not proper etiquette. And what's more, refraining from doing so can also keep our stomachs from talking out of turn. <laughs>